Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be going over how you can create a Zenfi flow that can save attachments from incoming emails into your Google Drive. So let's go ahead and get started. The first step to any Zenfi flow is to set up your trigger in Zenfi. The trigger is the action that's going to initiate the flow. So in this case, since we're using the Gmail trigger, this is going to start the flow whenever a new email arrives. So to do that, all you have to do is set up your connection. So you click on this plus icon here to create a new connection. You can give it a name, select if it's private or shared. This is going to change if it's visible only to you or to everyone in your workspace. Once you click authorize, it's going to ask you to choose an account. And then it's going to ask you to grant Zenfi permission basically to be able to access your Gmail and be able to monitor your inbox. Once you do that, you'll be able to see it in the drop down menu as well as the email in this box right here. You do also have the option to add a conditional run so you can enable it by clicking on this button. What this is going to do is it's only going to run the flow when certain criteria is met. So, and if you click on this button here, you'll be able to set up a clause, meaning it's only going to run the flow for certain emails and not every email in your inbox. So if you click on this icon here, this is called a token picker. It allows you to insert data from previous steps. You can see the information from the email. So if you want to filter out by who the email is from, if it needs to have certain text in the text body, a certain subject, if it's from a certain date, you are able to add that here. The first action we're going to be using is going to be in charge of saving our attachments to our Google Drive. This action is called Save Files. And all you have to do is set up your connection, again, by clicking on the plus icon, setting up the connection to Google Drive, grant Zenfi permission to be able to access your Google Drive and save files there. And all you have to do is let it know which file it's going to be uploading. So to do that, we're going to use a token picker and we're going to have a suggested file content. This is the content of the attachment from the email. So if you click here, you're going to be able to add the projected token, meaning it's going to save the file from the incoming email. And now the next step is to select where it's going to be saved. So again, you can use a token picker, or if you click on this icon here, it's going to open up a window to your Google Drive, so you can select the folder. In this case, I have a folder called Email Attachments, so I can select that there. And that would be everything. Now we're going to do a test run so we can make sure it's working properly. Here I have the folder that I created called Email Attachments. As we can see, it's empty. To test run, all you have to do is save your flow, click on test run, and you can select an email to start. I'm going to be using this email as an example, so this is going to be the email that I'm going to be selecting in our test run. Okay, and once you click start, it's going to go through all of the steps, and once it's finished, it'll say completed. As we can see here, it already saved the attachments. So I'm going to open up my Google Drive, and as we can see, it did save the attachment from the email, which is this one right here. And if we look at the email, that is the attachment that was in the email. And remember, Zenfi is very customizable, so you can add or remove steps to make your flow as complex as you need. Thank you so much for watching.